I can show you guys what my Saturday looks like and feels like. Y'all see my little makeshift incognito when I'm sitting here in my patio chair. I got some of the new lights coming on already, but the other ones haven't come on yet. Yes, this is what it's looked like ever since I woke up this morning. All day, rain, rain, rain. Okay, let's I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you as per usual. Let's get into it. Hello, my beautiful sweets. Welcome back to my channel, Sweet Sadie J TV. Thank you so very, very much for all the love and support you show my channel. Happy rainy Saturday to everyone where it's raining. It's been pouring cats and dogs here all day long. You're going to see in the beginning of the video <laughs> where I actually filmed it because it's almost flooded out there in the back. But anywho, with a little bit of rain, the sunshine will come. But I do have a nice little Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys today. I'm hoping and praying that tomorrow after church, if not tomorrow, maybe Monday, that I can do a live and show you guys... Um, what I got for my birthday from my girl Odessa. She's got this beautiful bag here with the balloon on it. I don't know if you guys can see it. Isn't that gorgeous? And I have a whole bag. <laughs> a whole big bag. Ugh, I can't even lift it, y'all. Of birthday gifts in here, okay? And I really, really want to share it with you guys, and I want to do a giveaway. So depending on how I feel tomorrow when I get out of church, because y'all know I'm trying to get my strength back, and it's it's a little dicey, you know, I do a little sit down, do a little sit down. <laughs> but hopefully after church tomorrow, which is Sunday, or prayerfully Monday, Tuesday's Bible study, so I won't be I won't be doing it Tuesday. But anywho, you guys stay tuned. I'm gonna post it on my community page when I'm going live. And I hope you guys will come and join me and share in the beautiful birthday gifts that my lovely, lovely friends have blessed me with. But without further ado, I do have a sizable because it's small items. So let's jump right into this Dollar okay, Tree Okay, my sweets. I'm going to try to go through these Sally Hansen <laughs> Insta Dry fingernail polishes to, um, as quick as I can. I showed you guys these two in a car haul, and I absolutely love this. The only thing about this one, which is what I'm wearing right now, y'all, if the camera will focus, and it's a little on the clear side. So I actually put this one on first. And then I put this one on over top of it. And I'm telling you, this is the longest time that my fingernails have lasted after I've polished them with any kind of Dollar Tree polish. This is the longest. I must have had this polish on for over a week, probably more. And it has not chipped yet. You can see where my cuticles are growing. My nails grow really fast. So, But just ever so slightly... I love, love, love the Sally Hansen Insta Dry, you guys. This one is called 762 Plum Believable, and it's got the little sour patch on it. <laughs> I showed you guys before. I hope you guys can see that sour patch. And then this one, oh, I fell in love with this one. This one is just um, purple. Purple something, I don't know. I, can, I still can't see it, but it looks like this, and it's so gorgeous. And I need to redo my nails, but I keep saying it's time for me to redo my nails, but they're fine. They're fine. I'm going to church with my nails just like this tomorrow. So, all right, I'm going to show you the few other colors that I got. And remember, the Sally Hansen Insta Dry, don't get it confused with the Candy Moil 60 Second Quick Dry because it does take a little bit longer for your nails to dry with the Sally Hansen Insta Dry, but just not as long as when you um, use regular, regular nail polish. But I thought this blue was just absolutely gorgeous. This is Sour Patch Kids. Sally Hansen Insta. This is 764. Uh, maybe I should put on some glasses. What do y'all think? Since I have them right here, don't mind my ugly glasses. My regular ones are in my purse. 
I've been trying to wear my glasses regularly, so that's why these are on backup. But this one says, um, Mattitude Twist. Oh, Malibu. Oh, excuse me. This says, Matter Blue Twist. And this is a Sour Patch Kids. And this looks like this. Isn't that... Now, you do have to shake them up because they do settle, as you can see. Um, but I thought that was so, so pretty. So I got that one. I'm going to try to go fast, y'all. This is the Sally Hansen Insta Dry Prismatic Shine. This is the Future is Fuchsia, and it's number 050. Okay. 050. I love these polishes. And I'm telling you, y'all, they are missing in action in every store I went to. I just saw them again for the first time and only a few down at the South Hills, Virginia store. But in my area, they're gone. Okay, you see the um, the other Sally Hansen polishes that weren't Insta-Dry, but all the Insta-Dry's are gone. And I love this color. This is by the Peeps, and this is so cute. Sally Hansen Insta-Dry. This is called 715 Peeps White. I love this. This is so cute. It looks like this, and it's got the little chicks and the bunnies, <laughs> and it says peeps. I thought that was so, so cute. Now, there is one that I bought, and I thought it, yeah, that's not a Insta Dry. Okay, this is not a typical color that I usually wear, but I had to have it anyway because it said Sally Hansen Insta Dry Pride, and there is no, whatever that is written on the top, I cannot see it, so yeah. It just looks like this. You can see that. Sally Hansen Insta Dry. And you see the top. There's nothing on there. Um, whatever it is, I can't read it. But I I just wanted it because I may try it, you know. We'll see. I'm getting rid of all the old and bringing in all the new. This one is a Sour Patch um, Ghoul's Night Out. 753 and y'all know how I love my plums and my raisins. Oh my god. I was like that is screaming. <laughs> that is screaming. Sadie, Sadie. <laughs> and it's an insta dry. I love it, love it, love it. And the last of the polishes is not an insta dry, but I had to have it because it had the friends logo on it. So it says <clears throat> this says Miracle Gel. Um, Sally Hansen Friends, and it has the Friends, the television series, and it's number 887, and it says Step 1, How You Blew It. I don't know about this Step 1, but it's pretty. It looks like this. It has the Friends logo on it. You can see it says Friends. Let me see. Friends over here. You guys can see that. And then it's got the Friends logo on it. And then on the top, it says, Joey, how you blew in. <laughs> so I did go ahead and get this one in case I want to make an accent nail with this. Letting one nail dry is not going to kill me, you know. <laughs> but those are the Insta Dries and the Friends one that I picked up. From various stores, I first saw them in Nightdale, and I was so blown away because I had just, just watched Elizabeth um, Chai Town Girl um, show them on her channel the day before, and I never, ever thought they would come to my area. I don't know why I think like that. I just did. But anywho, let's continue. Okay, my sweets. I've got a, a few hair products, quite a few hair products here. As you all know, they've been carrying Cantu at the Dollar Tree, and I think it's absolutely phenomenal. Now, I showed you this particular product in a car haul, and I only got one because the other cans in the store that day were real jinky, and so I hoped that I would find it at another store, and I did. This is the new Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair. It says, Style Stay Frizz-Free Finisher, No Sulfate, Silicones, Parabens, or Mineral Oil. It's a weightless hold for curly or straight styles, non-sticky, crunch-free, no white flakes, and humidity resistance. Who do I need that? It's a five ounce can, and I have not tried any of my Cantu products yet, but it is time for me to wash my hair again. 
and I'm going to try them and come back and let you guys know how they work or what I thought about them. I, like I said before, I've used Cantu before, you know, in the past, so, and I didn't have any problems with it. But when it comes to the Dollar Tree, you gotta wonder why. <laughs> But it'll be okay, I'm pretty sure. And I just basically picked up everything that I found in Cantu because if I can't use it myself, I can offer it to my sisters. If they can't use it, I'll pass it over to my um, cousin and her granddaughters. And believe me, they got some hair over there. So this is the new Cantu Shea Butter Sensitive Hypoallergenic Conditioner. And again, they all say no sulfates, silicones, parabens, or mineral oil. It says it's fragrance-free formula, dermatologist-reviewed, made with pure shea butter, gentle conditioner for sensitive scalps. I don't have a sensitive scalp, but I can make it sensitive if I scratch it too much, you know. So um, it's not sealed. I didn't even take the time to smell these. It says it's fragrance-free, so I don't smell anything. But I got two of these. Just to kick off with, you know, because Cantu at the Dollar Tree, yeah, I loved it. I was so excited when I first saw it on someone else's channel. So, I did get two of these. These are the hypoallergenic conditioners. And y'all know I use a lot of conditioner when I do my hair, when I wash my hair. So, and two more things from Cantu, which I double bought by mistake. But I saw two in my local Dollar Tree on Raleigh Road, and I was not sure whether or not I had picked it up or not. And they were the last two. Mm -hmm. So you know I grabbed them, right? But that's okay. I have sisters. I have friends, you know? So sharing is caring, you know? So I got Texture by Cantu, Oil Plus Vitamins, Scalp Saver. This says it helps promote healthy hair and scalp, mineral oil and fragrance fray. And it says on the bottom, it says treat, replenish with vitamins A, D, E, and K, plus restore with rosemary and burdock root oils. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's a burdock root oil? I'm going to have to Google that. I'm just going to like, uh, let's see what we got here. Alexa, what is burdock root oils? Burdock root oil is extracted from the roots of the burdock plant and is used in skincare products as a natural moisturizer. It is believed to help treat skin conditions such as dry skin, eczema, and psoriasis. Thank you. So now we know what burdock root oils are, but I ended up double buying. The first time I found them, I bought two. Um, let me see if I can show you guys so you can see it. It's in the yellow, so it's kind of hard to see. This is the texture Cantu by Cantu, and it looks like this, and it has treat on the bottom. Hope you guys can see that. Okay, and they look like this, and they're nice because they have the pointed tip where you can just get in between your scalp and, you know, oil your scalp and help, you know, soothe the itching. So I did get, like I said, I double bought. I got two, and I'm putting two in my sister's basket tomorrow that I'll pass over to my sister after church, and I'll keep two for myself. Now, lately, my, my scalp has not been itching as much as it used to because I keep my hair moisturized more than I used to. But, you know, you do have some scalp itch with natural hair. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I think those are going to come in really, really handy, and I'm hoping they're going to work. Okay, and the next two items that I picked up, which I found all of this stuff a while ago, y'all. You know, this stuff has been sitting here. I still got one, two, three, four, five more shares, hauls to share with you guys. But I never did stop running to the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Even if I couldn't run to it, only my two local ones when I got off from that poll, that was my therapy, y'all. Because, yeah, anywho. I digress. <laughs> so this is the texture by Cantu. Leave in plus rinse out. Leave in plus rinse out? Hydrating conditioner. That's kind of confusing because it says it's leave in 
plus rinse out hydrating conditioner, moisturizes and softens strands, silicone and paraben free. And again, on the bottom, it has treat. Experience the quenching power of shea butter. It's a full size, 16 fluid ounce of conditioner, y'all, for a dollar twenty-five by a name brand company. Now we know Cantu is not the most expensive natural hair product in the stores, but for a dollar twenty-five, for a dollar twenty-five, I was so so happy when I found this. Ooh, 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 goodness! It looks like it's curdled, y'all. Oh. Oh, okay. Look at this. Can y'all see that? Doesn't it look like it's curdled like milk or something? But it smells it smells good. I'm probably gonna oh my god, look how thick that stuff is. <laughs> it is really, 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 really thick, y'all. Look at that. I'm having look how much I'm squeezing this bottle. But I love thick conditioner like this. So I'll probably just shake the bottle up really, really well, you know, before I try to use it. And yeah, I got two of these and nobody's getting my conditioner because I love to um, pre-pull my hair before I wash it. Then pre-pulling is all you're doing is saturating your hair in conditioner, putting a little um, plastic cap on. And leaving it for as long as you want. 30 minutes, an hour, all day, overnight, whatever you want. That's what pre-pooing is. So I do go through a lot, a lot of conditioner. And I told you guys before, the hair food that I found at the Dollar Tree down in Virginia, I went to Ollie's to try to find some more of my conditioner. My hair absolutely loves that hair food um, brand. And I saw Marina find the conditioner. I was just like, oh. <laughs> Why can't I have it right here? But since I couldn't find a hair food, I'm going to just try the Canto. Okay, you guys, coming up, a few more items. All right, you guys. It's something about the Dollar Tree that they just can't get it together. Either it's wonk, 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 or they're flooding us with so many different items. And they have so many different hair products out in the Dollar Tree right now. The Cantu, the one I'm getting ready to show you, one and only. And then I saw some personal care um, hair products. And I'm just like, oh my God, why can't y'all just spread it out and make it smooth like peanut butter? You know, not the crunchy, but the smooth. <laughs> But anywho, you don't have to buy everything you see. So I passed on the personal care so far. <laughs> but I did show it to you guys in a walkthrough. This one, I don't know which one I found first because I really, oh yeah, it must have been this. This is one and only coconut and argon oil. This is coconut oil treatment. It says it's treats. Oh, that's in a different language. Okay. Instant shine, smoothness. Frizz Comfort, uh, all right, I hear y'all, put your glasses on, Sadie, put your glasses on, get glasses, Alice, get glasses, okay, so it says Instant Shine, Smoothness, Frizz Control, and yeah, I somehow got two of these, I don't, I'm not really sure how, but y'all know, I'm a dingbat, so three fluid ounces, and they look like this, and everybody's been showing them. It's a coconut oil treatment, another oil treatment. They're going to oil us to death. So let's see what we got here. Uh, uh, I'm scared. How do you do this? Um, do I turn it? I think so. Okay, let me see. Oh, okay. Woohoo, woohoo. Okay, so yeah, it's nice and oily. Okay, but I told y'all, oil products last me a long, long time because I just do not... Yeah, I don't really smell anything. I smell myself from my shower. But yeah, I somehow got two of these, but I'm going to put one in the basket for my sisters. They can fight over that one because <laughs> I didn't get I didn't get another one. Or I might just give both of them to them so they don't fight. But this other one is one and only argan oil derived from Mo Moroccan argan trees. I think this was the first one I found. This is for split in menders. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is for me. So, repair, repair split ends on dry and da or damaged hair. Yeah, this one's for me. My hair is not damaged, but it is dry. And it's the only reason why it's not damaged is because I am so focused on keeping it 
full, you know, thoroughly moisturized and your hair will always tell you what it needs when it needs it, okay? If you're careful, you know, it will tell you what it needs when it needs it. And my hair always tells me when it is dry and it needs moisture. So <clears throat> I'm probably going to give these two to my sisters so they don't fight. And then I'm just going to keep this one because I got all this oil stuff from Cantu. Okay, moving right okay, along. my sweets. I'm not worried about how long this video is anymore. I'm tired of trying to keep them short. I just want to show you guys what I found at the Dollar Tree for a dollar twenty-five or more if I paid more. But I found these Extra Care Moisturizing Shave Creams for women a while ago. And I believe I found them at my local um, Dollar Tree on Raleigh Road. It's a 9.5 fluid ounce can of shave cream for women. This is Tropic, Tropic Wave Dry Skin Care with vitamin E and lanolin. And so it looks like this. Okay. And it's very, very nice. It's big. I have not smelled any of them. They got a lot of shaving cream in the Dollar Tree right now. Yeah, you can't really smell anything, but I thought this was phenomenal for $1.25. So I picked up this one, and then I picked up this one, Extra Care Hydrating Shave Cream for Women Skin Therapy. I think this is the one I usually use. I'm not really sure. Skin Therapy Sensitive Skin Care with Vitamin E, Aloe Vera, and Olive Butter. And it is a 9.5 fluid ounce. Did I say 9, y'all? Yeah, 9.5 fluid ounce. Okay, so this one looks like this. Purple. Look at all that purple. So this one is for sensitive skin, I guess. Skin therapy. So I did pick up this. And like I said, y'all, this stuff has been sitting here for a while. And I got, I couldn't help myself. I just figured I would just go ahead and donate this to my um, mom's church like I do everything else. This is Bluey 3-in-1 Body Wash Shampoo and Conditioner. It says Bath Time Berry Scented. And it's an 8 fluid ounce. And I never did it. Yeah, it smells cute. It smells good. So I just picked that up because it was something new. <laughs> I mean, you can use this to soak your feet in and stuff like that. You don't have to donate. There's all um, kinds of things you can do with this, you know, when you're soaking your hands and your feet and your cuticles, but I'm going to donate this to my mom's church, so there's always someone there that needs things, so, and y'all know, this is a repurchase, this is my, um, the, oh yeah, Essentials Ultra <laughs> Replenishing Body Wash with Gentle Baking Soda, this is the clear water, I also like the green label one, Simply Fresh, I believe it is, but I just go with what I know, and I like the clear water better than the Simply Fresh, and it's 15 fluid ounce. Y'all seen me haul this a million and one times, and you will see me haul it a million and one more times, because this is my go-to body wash from the Dollar Tree. Love it, love it, love it. Have no problems with my skin itching, um, being overly dry, etc. So, I use the same laundry detergent, the whole Arm & Hammer been using it for years okay you guys the few things that i have from the thumbnail i was really really surprised but i was a little little disturbed yesterday from what i found if you watched my yesterday's walkthrough i'll try to link it in the um eye in the sky but i found it in black but i only found the dessert dish or i call it a saucer anyway okay let's my get sweets. To it. i'm sure you saw the thumbnail I found these Nautica cups over at my small Dollar Tree weeks ago, and I only purchased the blue one first. Now, I think I made a short, or I'm not quite, I can't remember which one I did a short, but they have these coffee cups, and they're all by Nautica, and they have them in various colors. Um, oh, yeah, I did it in the walkthrough. So, I, you have the Nautica, and it says right here on the bottom, Nautica, and I couldn't believe it. Now, they don't feel that much different from the Dollar Tree ones, but it's Nautica. It says Nautica on it. You have to get it, right? 
But like I said, they feel the same, but I like the fact that they have, you know, the gripper on here because these kind of cups, you put something hot in here and it will burn your hands, okay? So I just had to get it because it was new and it just says open and close on the top. If you guys can see it, open and close. So I guess you just turn it like this. Uh, I'm not sure. Open and close. I don't know if you pull this or not, but I'm not going to mess with it right now. I did get two of them. I got the blue and I got the green. They had red, they had white, they had black, and they had gray. I think I covered it all. <laughs> but I chose the blue and the green only because they didn't have any purple. So <laughs> I got two of those, which I'm absolutely in love. I'm probably going to... Passes over to my sister. She likes cups like that. But the one item that I was surprised to find was the bowls. And I can't get this tag off to save my life. I got to put that gooby gone on here to get these tags off. But I found the little bowls. Well, they're not the bowls. They're the soup bowls. And I love them. I was like... Now, the only problem with this pattern, y'all, is yesterday I found the saucers in black. Nautica... But I only saw the dessert plates, okay? And I was so stunned because if I had seen this set in black, I would have purchased the black over the blue. Not that the blue, there's anything wrong with the blue. It's just I prefer the black. So I just thought these were so cute. I got four of these. Two are already washed and put away. I just left these so I could show you. So these are the bowls. And they say clearly, naughty call. Naughty call. I just think they're gorgeous. I might even pass these over to my sister. She's the um, beach person. Now, this next item coming up, I don't know where they got this from, but I had to get at least two. I didn't really like the pattern, but again, it says Nautica. These are the dessert plates or sauces, however you want to call them. And look at that. It doesn't match. <laughs> it doesn't match this pattern. I don't know where, if they have another set coming out like this or not. But <sighs> it says Nautica. And I was really, really confused. But at the same time, I wanted them. You know, because I'm, oh my God, don't even, if you, if you guys can see my kitchen right now for my other channel for Decluttering with Sadie. Oh my God, you're going to have to go over there and look at it. But my cabinet, it, my kitchen is a mess right now. But yeah, I got two of them and they both say Nautica, but I don't understand if there's another set coming in. I don't even know where these are coming from. I can't get that small tag off the back of anything. I tried with all of them and it just tears and rips. So I have to use the Gooby Gun on, on the tags to get these tags off. But anyway, I got two of those, and then I got the dinner plates, and I love these. When I first saw them, I absolutely loved them, and I took them up to the register to pay for them, and my girl Jody at the Small Dollar Tree, she's like, oh, what are those? And I'm like, not a call. <laughs> so I bought four of the dinner plates. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to go back and get two more, because I'm not getting rid of all of my dishes. I'm just getting rid of enough so that I can incorporate these dishes but I just thought that was a great find with the saucer and the bowl I mean with the I wish I could have found the dessert plate to go with this because I would have liked it but I actually have all my dessert plates from my original dish set what is it Covington so I really don't need the saucers or the dessert plates whatever y'all call them but anywho, that is it, I think, for today, my sweets. Uh, hope to get another video out to you by tomorrow. If not, I want to do a live. We'll see. You know, I tell you guys all the time, we make our plans, but God orders our steps. And by the way, you guys, just a little for your information. <laughs> my doctor put me on the Freestyle Libre. I got to hook this up to my arm. <clears throat> because of my sugar and I explained to her you know I had been eating bad because where I was but she put me on a freestyle libre and I worked with one of the co-workers at the polls while I was working and her thing kept going off all the time but if your sugar is too high or too low it'll go off it'll tell you you know 
what's going on so you can adjust your insulin stuff. But yeah, that's it for today. I hope everybody is having a blessed Saturday. Uh, I saw in Texas with Kat's channel that she was having a nice, sunny, warm day in Texas. Poo on you because it's raining cats and dogs here. But I love you guys. Don't forget to be kind to each other. The world is big enough for us all. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Welcome, welcome to all my new subscribers, to my ride or dies. I love you. I love you. I love you. Thank you, guys. Y'all have a great day. Bye.